ongoing debate with a cousin of mine. She's pre-med and an evolutionist. And she argues that um, there are certain anatomical features that we would, uh, that have evolutionary advantages that we would expect to see in creatures that are um, genetically unrelated. Birds have five-fingered digits and two lower limbs. And I had read or heard somewhere that we would actually not expect to see repeated uh, features repeated in creatures that were not um, related closely, and I was wondering if you could explain that a little better. Sure. In fact, that, that's, uh, that's something that I've written about, so you may have heard it from something that I've said or something that I've written. But um, the idea is that um, uh, from, an, from an evolutionary perspective, given the nature of the evolutionary process, at least in terms of how we understand it today, evolution should essentially not repeat itself. It's a, a process that's driven by chance, and it's a, a sequence of chance events. And in fact, uh, Stephen Jay Gould, the late um, evolutionary biologist, coined a term called historical contingency to describe the evolutionary process. It's a sequence of historically contingent events. And his point, or the metaphor that he uses, is that if you rewind the tape of life and replay it, the outcome would be different every time because of the chance nature of the evolutionary process. And so this becomes a way in which we can predict whether or not there's a, evolution is the best way to account for uh, the patterns that we see in the living realm. Do we see evidence for a repetition, or do we see evidence for contingency? And what's remarkable is that there's a growing litany of examples where it looks as if, if you're looking at the data from strictly an evolutionary standpoint, that very complex structures and behaviors and biochemical systems emerged independently multiple times. And so it looks as if there is this multiple ongoing uh, emergence of these complex systems, which indicates that evolution seems to repeat itself. So uh, the data indicates that evolution fails this test of contingency.